Prior to 2024, Xbox was heavily praised during the console war due to the downright silly value that Game Pass had to offer. But the gaming titan, once the golden child of gaming going head to head with PlayStation, is now in the hot seat and not for the right reasons. The gaming landscape, once a colourful and vibrant ecosystem, now resembles a battlefield filled with the wreckage of fallen studios. Xbox, once hailed as a gaming company that offered unbelievable value to its owners via the Game Pass, now finds its public image being attacked Act after being involved in controversy after controversy. Studio closures, layoffs, corporate mergers. This is the new reality of the gaming world and it's leaving a bitter taste in the mouth of gamers everywhere. Let's start with the studio closures, shall we? Tango Gameworks, the masterminds behind such cool classics as The Evil Within and Ghostwire Tokyo, shuttered its doors despite a string of critical and commercial successes. I mean, just look at Hi-Fi Rush, for example. This was a standout game for Tango Gameworks and by all accounts, it's considered a smaller game compared to recent AAA titles, but somehow it overcame the odds and completely took over the gaming world against all of these games with seemingly unlimited budgets, even to the point that the game was allowed to head over to the PS5 to show PlayStation gamers some hi-fi love. But despite all of these awards and the glowing reviews the game had received, it still simply wasn't enough to avoid Microsoft's wrath, which begs the question, what is enough anymore? If a game as successful on paper as Hi-Fi Rush wasn't successful in Microsoft's eyes, then what the hell is? Another potential argument is that by Hi-Fi Rush being on Game Pass, a scheme developed by Microsoft and Xbox I might add, did this actually hurt the studio? As on paper, it could have skewed the sales numbers, leading to the number crunches at Xbox and Microsoft completely underestimating the impact and value that the game had. And if we're not looking at the immediate impact of this studio in particular, does their legacy mean nothing? Let's not forget, these were the geniuses behind The Evil Within, a game that completely redefined the horror genre with its bone-chilling atmosphere and mind bending narrative twists. Fans were captivated by its nightmarish landscapes and heart-pounding gameplay, and they eagerly awaited news of a sequel which ultimately is never going to come. It just feels that Xbox is completely out of touch with their fan base, and their most recent comments days after the huge announcement does not help their case. 24 hours after the studio closures, the head of Xbox Game Studios held a town hall to basically discuss the future of the company, and in a moment of unbelievable irony, they went on to say, we need smaller games that give us prestige and awards. You know, kind of like the super prestigious Hi-Fi Rush, which was a small game that won tons of awards. These sorts of decisions are causing gamers to completely lose all trust in Xbox. And just to add fuel to the fire, they promoted one of the most poorly timed taglines for a controller launch that we've seen in recent memory. Promoting a new controller with the heading Feel the Burn in the height of their controversy for closing all of the studios. Fans were already fed up with the company by this point, but this just tipped them over the edge, showing just how out of touch they are with the gaming community. There needs to be a change, and this is only going to come from gamers, no one else. If we continue allowing the gaming titans to walk all over their consumers and the gaming studios themselves, it's going to lead to a bunch of uninspired live service titles with the sole aim of taking as much money from us as possible. But somehow, despite how pissed off the likes of Xbox makes us, they always find a way to temporarily tip the scales back in their favour. And recent reports are suggesting that they plan on putting all of their eggs into the Call of Duty basket by potentially bringing in the series to Xbox Game Pass. When Microsoft swooped in to acquire Activision Blizzard, it completely shook the gaming world, and I don't think anyone could have predicted the knock-on effect it would have on the gaming industry. But now, they're faced with the daunting task of figuring what to do with this behemoth they bought into their fold. And when it comes to integrating it into Xbox Game Pass, they're hitting a brick wall. In an attempt to try and win the fan base back, they're dangling the carrot of the beloved Call of Duty series coming to Xbox Game Pass, which in the short term is obviously a considerably better deal for for Xbox gamers as they're not paying the full retail price. And in diverting our attention away from the terrible news of the studio cuts, they can only hope that this will result in some trust being earned back from their fans. But in another kick in the teeth for Xbox gamers, this is likely going to come at a cost that we are going to have to cover. Call of Duty earns a ton of money from its physical and digital sales, and taking that option away and providing it via Game Pass is going to take away a huge source of revenue, which is going to fall on the consumers to cover. As reported by The Verge, Microsoft Microsoft has had internal debates about increasing the price of Game Pass to accommodate for Call of Duty, as the publishers are worried about missing out on revenue gained by sales from the series. The Verge's report also alludes to Call of Duty only coming to certain levels of the Game Pass, which could even pave the way for Game Pass to have a new tier in the future which includes only premium titles. So here we are, stuck at a crossroads. On one hand, we've got Xbox cutting studios left and right, leaving gamers feeling betrayed and abandoned, while on the other hand, we've got them dangling the shiny carrot of 
Call of Duty coming to Game Pass, but at what cost? It's a high stakes game of corporate chess and the fate of Xbox really hangs in the balance. What do you think of this whole situation? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you've enjoyed this video, YouTube has been working hard in the background to find the perfect video from our channel just for you. So why not go check it out?